Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I had like three videos I was planning on filming today and then I just spent two and a half hours on Instagram Live with Jadi G. Love her. I'm going to put her handle up here. And because of that, I was originally starting bareface. So today's video is going to be a little bit differently because my makeup is already done. So I did film this eye look and we're going to be going through it as a voiceover. But it is spring and I'm on lockdown at home, which I'm sure most of you are. But I did want to jump into some pastels, play with some soft but vibrant colors. I was able to use pretty much the entire pastel side from the Life's a Drag palette. I did not use the yellow, but I used the other five shades. So we're gonna go through a tutorial on this look here. I'll be doing it as a voiceover. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I upload three-ish times a week and that's gonna be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna see how we got this look right here and play around with some makeup, stay tuned. So for eyeshadow today, I did start by taking the shade Sickening in my crease. I did diffuse that and buff that up just to give myself some definition when I went in with the purple. I did take Pageant Queen, the purple, and I started very lightly by taking that into my crease and gently building it up. After I got it to where I was happy with it, I did amp it up a little bit more and apply quite a bit of that to my outer corner of the eye. Um, I didn't know what color I wanted for the waterline. I did end up going with a, an Urban Decay liner. This is the Night King. It was from the Urban Decay collection because it has this really beautiful, vibrant, like metallic blue. So I did throw that on and I buffed the shade Fishy right here around it just to smoke it out a little bit and make it a little bit more vibrant. Uh, once that was on, I had finally committed to the shade I was gonna put on the lid and I took Kiki, packed that all over the lid for that like mint green, almost turquoise pop of color. It's somewhere in between the two on camera. It looks a little bit more blue, but in person it's a little bit more green. After that, I took a little bit more purple and then I took Kai Kai the pink. And I added a little bit of warmth and pink around my edges of the eyeshadow just to kind of amp it up a little bit more. Once all of that was kind of solidified, I threw on some lashes and I popped this shade right here, Beat, on my inner corner. That shade kind of became like this super vibrant accent on the eye, but that's the only shimmer on the eye. I did stay matte today, which normally I don't. I normally do like something really high shine, but I'm really quite happy with that. And then to finish off the look, I did pop on some lashes and for lipstick, I took the Beauty For Real Neutral Liner and the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Of course, I reach out of there blindly and I grab on girl in the shade Pillow Talk, much better. Pop that on the center. And then I grabbed a little bit of the Beauty For A Lip Gloss in the shade Starlust and pop that on the center of the lips. And now that you guys see the base of how we achieved this eye look, I'm gonna show you guys how I was touching it up. Um, because now that it's on, I do wanna amp this up a little bit more. So I am gonna take a little bit more of that mint blue shade Kiki, and I'm just going to gently pat that all along the inner portion of the eye and feather it towards the purple, because I really want this to be an intense, blue or green, whatever color you think this is, because it's kind of both. And that is the finished look. So I know this was a much smaller video, but I've noticed that people tend to, my videos are long and I just posted one that was almost 30 minutes. So I did want to come back and do one that was a little bit shorter and just focus on a nice, easy eye look. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.